Hi guys, welcome back to fifth grade, chapter six, lesson six. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. So all we're doing is first we're paying attention to the signs. Some of them are subtraction, some of them are addition. Turn that light on for you guys to be able to see a little better. Okay, so first we need to find the lowest common denominator. So we have 10 and we have two. So the lowest common denominator is gonna be 10. Okay, this one is already 10. To get the two to 10, I had to multiply it by five. So I'm gonna multiply the top by five and get five. Okay, now seven minus five is two. Well, two tenths can be reduced if I divide each of those by two. Two goes into two once and two goes into 10 five times. Done. Okay. All right. Six and two. The lowest common denominator is going to be six. Okay. This one is already a six. I'm going to keep it. This one I had to multiply by three to get to six. I'm going to multiply the top by three. I'm going to get three. One plus three, four. Okay. Four and six are both even numbers, so I'm going to divide them both by two. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Done. Okay. All right. They are going to get a little bit tougher now, guys, okay? Because the common denominators are going to go up a little bit, okay? The smallest number that 8 and 5 are going to go into is going to be 40, okay? I know this because any number that multiplies by 5 is going to end in a 0 or a 5, okay? And the smallest number that 8 goes into that ends in a 0 or a 5 is 40, okay? Okay, so I had to multiply the 8 by 5. I have to multiply the 5 by 5, so I'm going to get 25. I had to multiply the 5 by eight, I'm gonna multiply the top by eight and get 16. So now 25 plus 16, 41, okay? So I'm going to reduce, okay, 40 goes into 41 one time. I would have one left over and my denominator stays the same. Okay. Okay. 10 and 3. Smallest one is going to be 30. Okay. I have to multiply 10 by 3. Multiply the top by 3. I get 27. I have to multiply the bottom by 10. Multiply the top by 10. I get 10. 27 minus 10. 17, 17 over 30. 17 is prime, so I can't reduce that any, okay? All right, four and five, smallest one is gonna be 20. Okay, I had to multiply four by five to get 20, so when I multiply the top by five, I get 15. I had to multiply five by four to get to 20. So when I multiply the top by 4, I get 8. 5 minus 8, or sorry, 15 minus 8 is 7. Okay? 7 is a prime number, so I can't reduce that at all. Okay? You guys finish up through 12. You can totally do this. Okay? Okay? If you need to, write out your multiples of the denominators and see where it gets you. Okay? So, 4... 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 7, 14, 21, oh, 28. There you go, okay? So sometimes you got to write them out until they match up, okay? All right. All right, we are going to go down and we're going to do the word problems. This Kaylin makes two liquids for science experiment. One container held seven eighths cup and the other one held nine tenths cup. What is the total amount of the mixture? Well, 
seven eight plus nine ten. Okay, smallest number that they're both going to go into is going to be forty. Okay. Now, we've already done three lessons of common denominator, so I'm going to go ahead and try and do some mental math here instead of writing it all down, okay? So, 8 goes into 40 five times. 8 times 5 is 40. So, when I multiply 7 times 5, I get 35. 10 goes into 40 four times. So, when I multiply 9 by 4, I get 36, okay? So, now, 36 plus 35 is 71, okay? But 71 is bigger than 40. Okay, so 40 goes into 71 one time. I would have 31 left over, which is a prime number, and I keep my denominator, and that's going to be cups, okay? Not a pretty number. But that's how it goes. Okay. All right. Henry bought a quarter of a pound of screws, two fifths of a pound of nails, build a skateboard ramp. What is the total weight of screws and nails? So, one quarter plus two fifths equals smallest number they're both going to go into is going to be 20. Okay. Again, going to do some mental math. 4 times 5 is 20, so 1 times 5, 5. 5 times 4 is 20, 2 times 4, 8. 5 plus 8, 13. So 13 is a prime number, 13 over 20 pounds. Okay? Again, not a pretty number, still correct. Okay? All right. We're going to go into the back. You guys are going to do the left in the chat. And we're going to do fire review. Okay. Okay. So. All right. Ivan has 15 yards of green felt, 12 yards of blue felt to make three quilts. If Ivan uses the same number of yards for each quilt, how many yards does he make? Does he use for each quilt? So. First, we need to know how many yards he has. Well, 15 plus 12 is going to be 27, okay? Then I have to take that 27, and I have to divide it between the three quilts, okay? Well, I know that 3 times 9 is 27, so 9 yards, okay? Eight identical shirts cost a total of $152. How much does one shirt cost? So, 152 divided by eight. Eight was not going to one. Eight will go into 15 one time. Eight, seven. I'm going to bring down my two. Eight goes into 72 nine times. Nine times eight is 72. Zero. So, $19. Okay. Write your work down, guys. Okay. Melissa bought a pencil for 34 cents, an eraser for 22 cents, and a notebook for 98 cents. What is a reasonable estimate for the amount Melissa spent? 34 cents, that's almost 50 cents, right? 22 cents? Yeah. Let's say 25 cents. Okay, we're going to go by quarters, okay? And 98 cents, let's go by $1, okay? Lining up our decimal, five, seven, one, dollar sign, 175. Okay? You could have rounded the 22 cents to zero, which would give you 150. It's an estimate, okay? Reasonable estimate, okay? So you could have had... 50 cents, zero for the 22 cents, and one dollar 
added those up and gotten 150. That's still a reasonable estimate, okay? As long as you're close, you're in the ballpark, okay? The 12 members of Dante's Hiking Club shared 176 ounces of trail mix equally. How many ounces of trail mix did each member receive? Well, 176, divide that by 12. 12 is not going to go into 1. 12 will go into 17 one time. 1 times 12 is 12. I'm going to get 5. Okay, bring down my six. Okay, 12 will go into 56. So, I don't know, let's find out. I think 48 is as close as we're going to get. Okay. Yeah, because it's going five gets 60. So, Going to be four. Four times twelve is forty-eight. Okay, six can't take away eight, so I would borrow, making that sixteen. Sixteen take away eight is eight. Okay, then decimal. Bring down zero. Okay. Oh, you know what we're going to do instead of that? Let me. First, find an eraser that works. We're going to go ahead and make that into a fraction instead of a decimal. Okay, guys? Sorry, Miss Leah's goof. Okay, so we have 14 and 8 over 12. But 8 and 12 can both be divided by 4, so we're going to go, we're still going to have our 14. 4 goes into 8 twice. And 12, three times, 14 and two thirds ounces. You can write OZ for ounces. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Okay. Write your work down. It's important. Okay. For all four of those, make sure that you write it down. Okay. All right. Thanks for hanging out for 6.6. .6. Come on back for 6.7. See you soon.